Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. In today's video I've got some really exciting new makeup bits from Glow Hub. Now I do believe Glow Hub are like a skincare brand. Not like a skincare brand. I do believe they are a skincare brand um, and I absolutely love their skincare. This is the Nourish and Hydrate Toner Essence and I have been through so many of these. I cannot live without this toner. It is absolutely fantastic if you've got dry skin. Just as a side note to the makeup bits that I'm meant to be talking about today. This, if you have dry skin, is absolutely fantastic. I hear all good things about their skincare. I'm very excited to try my hand on a few different skincare bits. They're on my Christmas list, but today is all about the makeup. So I got the Baby Beam primer. Now, I did throw away all of the boxes that these things came in, so I can't actually remember what they are or what I'm meant to do with them, but we're going to figure it out together. I think this is a primer, and I got this in the shade Light Beam. So, this came in loads of different colours, like colours, shades, you know what I mean. Came in loads of different options. Love the packaging. It's really, like, substantial like sturdy packaging I think that's lovely and obviously it's bright green which I definitely appreciate then I also got a blush stick this is called the buff blush and I got this in the shade pinched um does this have anything on it no there's no like instructions but that is what that one looks like beautiful beautiful colour and then I also got a lip gloss this is the Gen Gleam lip gloss and this is in the shade Milked um, again they had a few different shades I think they had three shades of the lip gloss and they had loads of shades of the blush and um, I just picked up this one so I'm going to be trying all of this out today and doing a full face of makeup so I'm just going to start with the primer start where it makes sense <laughs> And I do love when skincare brands come out with makeup because I feel like they just get it so right. Like there's so many products that have come out from like skincare brands where I'm like they're just absolutely fantastic products. So I've given that a really good shake. Let's see what this colour is like. Ooh, that's a lot thicker than I was expecting it to be. For some reason I thought it was going to be really runny like a sort of serum-y sort of texture but that actually feels obviously I've only got the tiniest little bit that just feels sort of more like a foundation-y sort of texture really nice colour though and let's see what that looks like if I just blend that out a little bit oh goodness that's going to cover my whole hand but yeah it's very much thicker than what I was expecting it to be let me just rub this in a little bit more <laughs> okay that is giving more coverage than I was expecting it to like I was just thinking that this was going to be like an elf halo glow sort of a product but that is like covering some of the texture that I've got on the back of my hand doesn't have any sort of scent unless it smells the same as the hand cream that I just put on but I don't think it does. <laughs> Interesting. And I feel like that tiny little dot has like covered the whole of the back of my hand. So I don't feel like I would need very much. Okay, I'm going to use just a small amount and I'm going to use my hands to like blend this out. So I've got that much. It might be a little bit pale. <laughs> might be a little bit. I always just go for the palest shade but like brands are actually coming out with like decent pale shades now so I might not need the actual palest shade in this. Let's see how this sort of blends out across the skin. Obviously I have like literally just done my skincare so well I did it about 20 minutes ago. It's had enough time to like sink in. So we'll see how this goes over the top of all of that as well. Okay, blended out on the skin. I don't feel like that is giving me 
coverage. <laughs> I feel like it's sort of evening things out nicely. If you want something incredibly light coverage, you know, you're just going out to walk the dog, you just want something to smooth yourself out a little bit, I feel like that would be really nice. It's giving my skin the nicest glow. That looks really nice and it feels really nice and hydrating. I would say that my skin almost feels soft to the touch, like a soft sort of velvety, but like really nice and hydrating. Like it's not sticky at all. That's blended out really, really nicely. Let me just look close up in a mirror. Yeah, that is absolutely undetectable but it has just I feel like the before and after with that I feel like the redness on my cheeks has gone down a little bit I'm just looking a little bit more evened out like my face and my neck are two completely different colors I am fully aware of that but I do feel like that has evened me out a little bit I really like it I don't feel like the glow is as much as the elf halo glow i don't like the elf halo glow just like all over the face in that sort of a way but i do like this i don't feel like it looks too sweaty or greasy anything like that whereas with the halo glow i do feel like it's too much for just all over for me and my preferences i really really like that that looks so nice so I am going to just quickly whiz through the rest of the products that I've brought over and um, I'm gonna use the XX Revolution Skin Blur Soft Focus Skin Tint this is in the shade Light Sand and usually I do like a stripe across my forehead, a stripe across the cheeks um, and then a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my chin but I don't feel like I need as much as that so I'm just gonna do a few dots and see how we go with that and I'm gonna blend that out with a sponge I'm gonna go incredibly sort of light makeup today just so that we can see how this primer works with a foundation that I already know and love I really really enjoy this can you call it a foundation? Skin tint. Um, really, really love it. So I'm excited to see how this is going to go over the top. Okay, those two together are looking really, really nice. It's a very light coverage, which is obviously what I'm going for today. You can still see every single one of my freckles. If I had any spots or anything like that, you'd absolutely still be able to see them. But I feel like the glow is coming through that matte, soft matte foundation really nicely. It's making my skin look amazing. Wow, love that. So for concealer, I'm using the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Concealer. And I'm just going to put a little bit round my eyes and blend it out with the same sponge. And for bronzer, um, because I've got like a blush stick, I wanted to use a bronzer stick as well. No reason for it, I just fancied it. So this is the Collection Gorgeous Glow Contour Stick. And I'm just going to do a little bit of this all over. And then I'm probably most excited for the um, blush stick. So then we'll get into that one. So that is the bronzer stick all blended out and now we can get into the star of the show for me. So like I say, this is the buff blush blush stick in the shade Pinched and I'm just going to do a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, that is very creamy and very, very pigmented. But it's blending out. That is beautiful. That colour is absolutely beautiful. I feel like that's blended out really, really nicely as well. Obviously, it's over that other swatch of the like glowy primer <laughs> that I did first. But that looks so nice. That's proper like cold girl blush. 
that shade is beautiful okay so i have another of the same brush oh i have two of them so there's no cross contamination do i take this onto the brush or do i just take this straight onto my cheeks i'm gonna i'm gonna play it safe i'm gonna go onto the brush can you see the amount of color i've got in there oh beautiful i did also wash my brushes yesterday so they are all really nice and clean which is a nice change okay that's blending out really nicely and it's not too pigmented like i thought on that swatch on my hand that was going to be way too intense but i can definitely go in with a little bit more i do like a strong blush so just gonna tap it in with a little bit more that's blending in really nicely as well like it's not taking a lot of blending because it's really creamy and like hydrating like it's giving my skin a little bit more glow obviously well not obviously if you don't know i am in front of like a lot of studio lights and stuff here so i am under a lot of light so if anything's gonna look glowy it's gonna look glowy under all of this <laughs> But I do feel like that looks really pretty. Again, really natural, really like soft glow. Very, very much. This shade is very much like a cold girl moment. And I am a big fan of that whole aesthetic, I suppose. I think it's so beautiful. Like the very soft skin that's pinched from the cold hence the name and it's also like building up really nicely like I can get that quite intense if I wanted it to which obviously I do <laughs> obviously that is what I want to do I feel like because it's very creamy I don't know if I would necessarily like this like drawn onto the skin but that's just a personal preference thing. I don't, I don't know how that would perform worked onto the skin directly like that. But with a brush, I love that. <laughs> I think that that looks so so good. So I am gonna go off and do my brows, do some sort of mascara on the lashes, and then we can do the lips because again, I'm very excited. Where have I put? I've just seen it very excited about the gloss as well so brows mascara and then we can come and do something on the lips okay so that's the rest of the face done i used the elf lash and roll um mascara i did put a little bit of eye liner pencil the crayon eyeliner from beauty bay in the shade antique i did put a little bit of that across the lid and i used the beauty bay eyebrow pencil and brow fixer so in the interests of transparency i did have a lip balm on but i will wipe that off and go on to the lip gloss i'm going to apply this and then decide if i need a lip liner which i probably will do but let's just swatch this first so this is the gen gleam lip gloss in the shade milked and that is what the applicator looks like so it is just like a standard sort of lip gloss sort of an applicator and it looks to be completely clear smells like watermelon i think i actually might have smelled that before i remember now <laughs> um but it does just look like a pretty clear mas uh, mascara mascara lip gloss honestly <laughs> what sort of a day have i been having today let's see yes just a clear lip gloss doesn't really have any color to it which is fine absolutely fine by me that feels really nice and thick like really like cushiony on the lips just looks like absolutely nothing at all so i will go in with 
a little bit of lip liner. I will use the Revolution Relove Super Fill Liner in the shade Sweet and I'll just do a little bit of colour around the outside of my lips because like I say they did have a few different shades of the lip liner I think uh, lip liner honestly what's wrong with me they had a few different shades of the lip gloss and um, I really like a light lip gloss I was maybe expecting a little bit more of that colour than what I have ended up with but I think that that looks really nice like the overall look of everything is definitely giving me that like cold girl makeup look whatever it was called from last year I'm cold makeup whatever it was this is definitely giving me that sort of a look the skin looks so juicy I absolutely love that primer and blush combo that's giving such a fresh colour to the cheeks and it looks so nice and glowy I really really like those I am a little bit disappointed in the gloss I'm disappointed there wasn't just a touch more colour like I get it I get that this is a very minimal very enhance your natural sort of a look makeup line I get that but that was nothing so I was hoping for just a tiny little bit more it feels lovely it feels really nice and hydrating on the lips which like I say is what I need <laughs> I am struggling with my lips and my skin at the minute struggling I'm on a struggle boss but I think that that looks so so good i would maybe if you are my sort of a skin tone i think this is the lightest shade light beam i'm not sure but if you are my sort of a skin tone i would maybe go for the next one up just because it's very sheer it's very light wash of basically nothing so i feel like i could go for the next shade up but really really like it big big fan and I am absolutely thrilled with how all of this has turned out so let me know what you think down below have you picked up any of these bits as well I would love to know what you think of them if you have as always I will leave everything linked down below if you haven't already I would love it if you would subscribe to my little old channel I post three times a week on a Monday Wednesday and a Friday it's always affordable and it's always cruelty free so if you're into that sort of thing I love it if you would subscribe down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up but until next time thank you ever so much for watching bye